In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make a kind of matrix-like effect, but uh, not really. This is a really simple tutorial. I'm just going to make a new image that's 400 by 400. Um, paint the background black. And get your gradient or blend tool. Choose, um, choose a kind of dark green, fairly dark green. And for your gradient, choose FG to transparent. And for shape, choose radial. Then just drag it like how I'm doing here. And you should get that. Then make a, or hold on. Then select a brighter green, not neon green, but about this color. And set the opacity down a little. Um, I'm gonna set mine to about 40 or 50. And do the same thing, just. Actually, you might wanna set the opacity down a little more. And then go to Filters, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and give it a decent blur. I'm going to give mine a blur of about 40. Okay. Now you're going to want to get make your um, foreground color neon green, and then just type in whatever it is you want to type. Okay, I'm just going to stop around here. And then once you're done with um, typing in your text, go to Layer, Layer to Image Size. Then go to Filters, Blur, Motion Blur. And um, keep your blur type as linear. And for, for um, the blur angle, choose 90 degrees and then just set the length to whatever you'd like and click OK. Um, okay. Now as you can tell this gives it a kind of I'm not sure how to describe it but I think it looks decent right now and if you'd like you can um, set the opacity of this layer down a little and then create several layers of numbers or whatever um, that's about it, really. Not the best tutorial in the world.